December 16th, and I think this is the coldest morning so far that I have seen. Let me see if I can get it close enough there. That looks to me to be 28 degrees. Yeah, I would call that definitely a solid 28 degrees. So I should gain a few more points here. Okay, let's go get the odometer reading. I'll put my helmet on, then we'll go for a ride. Okay, it actually started up with no heat lamp or anything, so that's good. And I shut it down so I can, so you can actually hear me talk. We got 39551.0, 39551.0. Today I think I'm going to talk about cats, and specifically this is a reply to a video by PhotoEZ. Check it out, I will have it down in the description below a link to his video and maybe you'll come over and post it as a video reply also he's someone that was not formerly a cat lover and I think he would probably argue he still isn't a cat lover but I think he really is he just doesn't want to admit it I think that little kitty cat won him over One thing I would say, if uh, you're not really into cats, but you do like dogs, for your first cat, I would recommend, and this is from personal experience, I actually own one. If you like dogs, but you're not quite so fond of cats because of their personality and their temperament and stuff, get a Maine Coon cat. It's the closest thing to an animal that's a cat that thinks it's part dog. They will actually come when you call them. They will follow you around. In fact, I haven't tried this with my Maine Coon cat yet, but they say you can leash train them. And that's not too hard to believe. I think even ordinary cats, some of them, if they have the right kind of personality, you can actually walk them like dogs. Not exactly like dogs, because I think they won't always go exactly where you want them to go. But according to people that own Maine Coon cats, it may be that they actually are that easy to walk that they will actually go where you want to go more than what they want to go. But yeah, if you, uh, somebody in your family wants a cat really bad, see if you can talk them into that. They were actually, at one time, close to extinction, and now, I think they're the second most popular cats after Persian. And uh, they're a big cat. Now, if you need a tiny cat, don't get a Maine Coon cat. They do keep on growing all the way. I think they grow longer than any other cat, uh, all the way up to five years old. Most cats, by the time they're a year and a half, that's pretty much all the bigger they're gonna get. But my Maine Coon cat, I think, is about four. And it's still, every year it gets bigger. It's a female, so I think they only get to be about 15 pounds maximum. Males can get up to about 25 pounds, although they're, I think there was a 45-pound Maine Coon cat somebody had that I saw on the Internet, so it's possible they can get quite a bit bigger, but I think my cat's going to top out at about 15 pounds. So if you want a cat to lay on your chest while you're laying down, maybe a Maine Coon cat might not be it because they are kind of heavy, and they're big bone, too. They're not, like, heavy like fat. They are... They're meaty and they've got big bones, so they're quite substantial size. And the other subject I wanted to talk about, if I don't run out of time here, I don't want to... I know time gave us about a 10 minute time limit, so I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet. I was just thinking, now that they've got face transplants perfected, one thing you could do if you were somebody like me is... Um, I have a full beard, as pretty much anybody that's ever watched my videos knows, but the hair on top of my head is getting rather sparse. I know it still looks like I have a lot of hair up top, but it's about 80% gone, especially towards the back and the very top of my head. There just is uh, nothing but scant evidence that I ever had hair there. And I'm thinking this way, suppose you could take your face, take it off, turn it upside down, then I would have all this full head of hair again. Now I realize a few things would be out of place they'd have to deal with, but you know, I'm thinking modern surgery 
could take care of some of them, but if you look at it this way, it would be kind of cool that your, uh, your mouth would be up above and you could like, instead of blinking, you would just open and close your mouth and it would take care of both eyes at the same time instead of like your eyelids. And then you could just use one of your eye holes for your mouth. I mean, you'd have to stretch it a little bit and then you could just kind of sew up the other one, I guess. So that would work. Your nose would be upside down, so. You could probably still breathe okay. I mean, as long as you didn't walk out in the rain without a, you'd need an umbrella or something like that, so the rain didn't get on your nose. But if you're that picky, I guess they could take it off, turn it around and put it the right way. So I don't know, it was just an idea I had. I know I've been probably watching too many of Photo Easy's videos and kind of thinking weird like him. But it's just an idea. Ending mileage. 39557.2. 39557.2.